Hello, respected viewers. This is George from Ireland. Here I am at 5 Arlington Street, London. So this uh, handsome 18th century house, it was, is the former residence of Sir Robert Walpole, the first prime minister, the townhouse of his son, um, Horace Walpole. Um, they both ha um, held the aristocratic title, the Earl of Orford, one after another. Um, I've, I've filmed Strawberry Hill, which is Horace Walpole's country house in Twickenham. Twickenham is now definitely part of London, but back in the 18th century it was not. So, well, let's, I, I've talked a bit about Sir Horace Walpole before, so let's talk about his father, Sir Robert. He came from a minor landowning family in Norfolk, and um, he uh, got a King's Scholarship to Eton, which by then was recognised as the Kingdom's premier school. Um, his father lied about his age to make him eligible to sit for the scholarship, and he went for there for several years, then he went up uh, to Oxford, Trinity, I believe, and, and he later entered politics. In those days, they were rotten boroughs. They were very small constituencies um, controlled by an aristocrat. And if the local aristocrat said this man will be elected, then he would be elected. There were two members of parliament for every constituency. So only those who owned a substantial amount of uh, real property were allowed, a, were allowed to vote. The rules varied from one constituency to the next. But anyway, Sir Robert Walpole was a Whig. Um, there was no officially, there was officially no Prime Minister, he was first Lord of the Treasury. People said Prime Minister in common parliaments, common parliaments back then. In fact, they'd occasionally used that title beforehand. But Sir Robert Walpole is recognised as being the first Prime Minister who sat from um, uh, 1721 to 42 as Prime Minister um, under King George I. And, uh, well, major achievements, the finding the war of Spanish success, succession. Sorry, am I right about that? No, I mean Austrian succession. The Spanish succession was a bit before his time. But uh, he liked to carry a bag of apples and suggest he was just a simple Norfolk farmer. He liked going back to his estate in Norfolk and being a magistrate at the local assizes. Nothing satisfied him more than sentencing pickpockets to be hanged, which was the penalty for uh, grand larceny in those days. So, um, not a lovely man, but an able political operator. Uh, and then finally pushed out um, by the Pelhams. So 21 years uh, continuously as Prime Minister. No one served that long as PM uh, up to this present day. Lord Liverpool's second longest. He held the office for um, 15 years. So incidentally, the title Prime Minister wasn't officially recognised until the very early 20th century when it was put in the order of precedence. As in the Queen is the top, her consort is the next, then the Prince of Wales, blah, 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 down through the royal family, down to various other, to various office holders and politicians. And that's where they decided where Prime Minister was in the pecking order. It was only then the Prime Minister officially existed. Um, so, curiously enough, just across the street is the Ritz Hotel, but that's been here for less than a century. The Ritz Hotel, founded by César Ritz, that um, Swiss chap. I don't really want to concentrate on him. Um, obviously, the Paris Ritz came first. César Ritz was the king of hoteliers and the hotelier of kings. But which that shan't distract us from our real interest in Walpole. These Walpoles were here long before the hotel. Unfortunately, it's not um, open to the public, but the building itself is an attractive uh, 18th century one. You can see they put the expensive stucco on the ground floor and it's plain brown brick above that. That's all for now.